Hi, my name is Andrew, and I have an absolute insane Valentine's Day story. And when I told this story to some of my close friends and family, none of them could not even believe what she did on this particular day. I will give you a brief backstory. When I was in senior year of high school, I was dating a girl named Harriet. We were actually dating for a while, and we actually got engaged when we were around 22 years old. But then, when we were around 23 years old, I broke off my engagement with her around August in 2016. You may end up asking me why I suddenly broke off my engagement with her if we had been dating it together for at least a while after that. Well, you see, I literally found out during three months before in August, I found out that Harriet had been cheating on me with a guy for three whole months. When I told her I found out about it, she claimed that I wasn't loving her anymore. I was like, I had dedicated a lot of time with her and even to spend a lot of time at work, but most of the time I did spend a lot of time with her, but she still claimed that I wasn't spending enough time with her, so she met this guy who spent a lot more time with her and loved her. So I told her, well, I am breaking off our engagement, and luckily though we didn't live together at the time. I was considering to even to ask her to move in, well, good thing I never took that step. But anyways, after my, well, my breakup with Harriet, I was very depressed. So I decided to focus on, um, well, mostly at work and spend time with my friends. Of course, I had blocked her number and even on social media. I had informed my friends and family of what she did. And everyone believed me because, well, I'm not the type of guy that will start cheating. Well, I mean, she did tell some of her close friends that I was the one been cheating on her. But when they asked for proof, she couldn't provide anything. So, over all that, they believed me. But anyways, around February, around Valentine's Day 2017, I felt a little bit, well, heartbroken. This would have been the first year in a long time I was single. But a friend of mine actually introduced me to a girl that he knows. And her name is Stella. Actually, I have met Stella a few times before in the past. Well, we were just like acquaintance. Even when I was still dating Harriet, we did actually run into her with a couple of friends from time to time. And my friend encouraged me to ask Stella on a date on Valentine's Day. Well, I mean, this would have been the first time in a long time I even asked someone else out. I wasn't really sure if I was even ready for this. But I really wasn't sure if I was ready for a new long-term relationship. Even it was like a six months ago, I actually broke up with Harriet. But my friend told me I don't have to consider this as a long term. Maybe just more casual dating to so that I will go back in the dating scene again. Because after the breakup, I stopped dating anyone. But I followed with this and I took up an idea and asked Stella out and she said yes immediately. So I Picked her up at her, her house, took her out for a nice restaurant in town, and it was a, a Mexican restaurant, just to be mentioned. And we had a great time. I mean, we only knew each other well enough after we had known each other for a little bit. So, and and while we were just eating and talking and laughing at some old jokes, who did not just show up but Harriet? I didn't know how she even knew that I was even there, because I didn't mention this on social media or anything. The only ones who knew about this thing was just my friend and, and my family, but somehow she found out about it. And 
She literally saw me at a table and walked up to me and said, "How dare you be shitting on me!" I was like dumbfounded. I was like, "Harriet, what are you be doing here? And shitting? We're not even dating anymore." What? Of course we are. No, we broke off it over like six months ago. And you're dating her? And she pointing at Stella, who looked uncomfortable. Harriet, please leave us alone. We're done. I don't want to have nothing to do with you ever again. So please leave. But she didn't listen. She started screaming and yelling that I was a cheater and that I broke. And I, we didn't broke up at all. That we only took a short break. Yeah, right. I said a break for six months. But I told her once again to leave. But. It wasn't working. One of the waiters came over and asking what was the problem. I, before I could say anything, she started screaming at him to, to I was a cheater and kick me out because I was a bad person. But I told the waiter to kick her out because she's the one that caused the problem. And the other customers around us said the same thing. She was the one that causing it because we didn't do anything. She literally just walked in. So, she just was forced to leave, and was this the last time I saw her? Well, basically, yeah. I mean, she was literally forced out of the restaurant, and I was expecting maybe Stella would not want to go out with me again, and that she would probably want to be a friend of mine after this incident. To but, but to my most shocking, Stella didn't care about that. In fact. We start dating a little bit more casually afterwards, and we are now married. We even have our own family. So thanks to my friend who introduced me to Stella. I mean, and also thanks to Harriet, even though I shouldn't mention it said saying this, but if it was for her breaking up, released to her cheating, I wouldn't have found my true love. I have no idea how my life would have been if I would marry Stella Harriet. She probably would probably would have cheated on me even if we were, were even if we were married. So Harriet, leave me alone forever. This is my only scary, crazy Valentine's Day experience that I ever had. My name is Jesse. At the time, I was 25 years old. I had been single for a while, and I was really, well, feeling lonely for companionship. I had been single for for about two years at this point, and a friend of mine was, well, could see that I felt lonely and was hoping to find someone new. So my friend set up me with a guy. That she knew, and and his name was Charlie, and he was around the same age, and we actually did meet up a few times, just get to know each other, and we hit it off. Then, when Valentine's Day was approaching, he asked me out on a date, which I said yes immediately, and we went to a restaurant in town, and it was an Italian restaurant. And we just had a great time. We were just talking and normal things we like to do, like more. We were just simply talking about our common interests and what we, what we have been up to lately since the last time we saw each other. And I was just feeling this is a great time for, and I could see a potential long-term boyfriend with Charlie. But as we were just sitting there talking, suddenly a woman showed up, and she literally ran up to our table, crying and screaming at Charlie. How could he be cheating on her? I was dumbfounded, and then she told me to leave immediately and call me a cheater. I was not even have a clue what was just happening. And Charlie, who looked upset, told her.
by the name Maya. And I later found out Maya was his ex-girlfriend. And she told him to how could he be cheating on her all this time. But he told her immediately with the right face, You are crazy. You know that. You're the reason why I broke off with you even it meant eventually. You were so obsessed of me. You wouldn't even allow me to even do anything. You wouldn't even allow me to even to have any female friends at all. You even had to hand on me wherever I go. How could you even do that? And before I could say anything myself, she took my glass and threw it in my face. And she called me some of the bad words, which I prefer not to mention here. Just, just a bit more privacy. And then she called me a cheater and some other bird, bad names. And she told me to leave immediately or, uh, or else. I was just consider concerned of she meant like stab me or anything. But before she could say anything else, Charlie stood up and grabbed her by her arm and said, You will leave right now. And she started screaming for him to be hurting her. But the customers around them, at least one guy, or at least one man, who looked to be, it could have been like, what, six feet? Six and a half feet tall? And she stood up and walked up to her and said, you had to leave right now, young lady, before we called the police on you. But it didn't have to have been taken that long because when she heard that, she just screamed, You will regret this, she said, and ran off. He, he Charlie thanked the man and they went back to our table and he said, We could leave if you want to. And I said, Yes. So instead, we went over to his apartment and he gave me some clean clothes that yeah I could wear for for that night and I thought this was ruined. But instead he decided why not to just order some food and we can eat at his place. And we did. He ordered some some takeout, like I think it was Chinese food, and we actually watched a movie. Then when I asked her about Maya, and he told me everything. I mean literally everything. Turned out they were were dating at least about a year ago, and at first she was just the most amazing, most lovable person that anyone can even ask for. But her obsession of him became a whole too much for him to handle. She literally had his phone tracked, literally tracked without his knowledge, and she told him that, "How could you talk to this girl?" Or who was she? I was dumbfounded. And when he told her they were breaking up, and that he wasn't even allowed to even talk to his own sisters or even female cousins, that was just crazy. They're a part of a family, and they probably in an. You could be cheating on her, when he was when Maya would have referred to his oldest sister, which is crazy. So he told her they are now they're done. But that was not the crazy part. Ever since then, she was uh, stalking him on social media and sometimes even in private, in public. But he did find out about about the about the the tracking app on his phone and have it disabled, so she couldn't find him where he went. But ever since then, she did just try to stalk him again, even after our first date and. Well, let's say he did actually run, have enough. So, he gathered enough evidence and, with my help, we managed to get him for help for restraining order, not only for him, but for myself as well. And for that day, she didn't even bother us. Thank goodness for that. I mean, I cannot even imagine if he didn't have the energy to even to, to make this, well... Straining order against her, who knows what else she could have done. And you may, may ask, did I stop dating Charlie afterwards? We were just remain friends? Actually, no. We continued to be dating, and after about two years, he actually proposed to me, and I said yes immediately. We had our wedding about 
at least two years ago, and now we are married. Now we have our own family, and I did actually run into um, uh, Maya at least once, but six months ago, and well, I literally not walked into her, but I saw her in public. For some reason, she didn't somehow even saw, even though she saw me, but she somehow didn't recognize me. She looked like the same, and she was just walking around with a guy, and I don't know. But at least I was happy my friend introduced me to Charlie. To my friend, you're awesome. But to Maya, I really hope that you really stay far away from me and my family, especially to my husband, Charlie. I don't have you any to cause any problem for me or in my family ever again. So please, Maya, let us never meet ever again.